You know, there's a, uh, a very known professor in New York City whose name I'll omit. And I, I always love mentioning his story because he struggled with faith for a long time. And he always talks to people about this. Uh, and he, had, he was an atheist and he came back to Islam. And he says, I read a line from Muhammad Iqbal and it just shut me down. And all my research was finished and I said, there's no running from this. Muhammad Iqbal, he says, sure, you can deny God, but how do you deny Muhammad? In other words, sure, you can be immature and say, I'm not going to believe in something I don't see. Case closed, stop talking to me, right? But how do you deny someone who lived in the flesh here, who God communicated with? How do you deny the reality of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam? How do you explain that? We need to revisit that. How does a man get born in a vicious environment alayhi salatu wasallam? And he becomes this beautiful, soft, delicate, bashful, merciful person who was content when people couldn't even be patient and was merciful when people couldn't even be just. And he was gentle with kittens and he praised people for taking care of animals. And then on the battlefield, he's on the front lines. And the tough guy is the one that can stand by his side. Or the brave person, more respectfully, because he's the Sahaba. Right, Al-Bara and Ali, they say the tough one is someone that could come near him. He's on the front lines, alayhi salatu wasalam. How do you explain someone who's like that, of valor, and then he stops the army, as Ibn Mas'ud says, or he says, we were on a travel, and he says, who scared this pigeon regarding her babies? Who took the babies away? How do you explain that? How do you explain the only person in human history that has ever removed racism from society successfully? And I think you know it's alive and well in the United States. The only person in human history that has ever removed alcoholism effectively, that has suffocated the institution of slavery until it dwindled and people benefited from their freedoms and, and enjoyed them. How do you explain that he, alayhi salatu wasalam, becomes the most influential figure in human history? How do you explain that? We need to come back and find shelter in these things. There's only one explanation. There's only one logical explanation. 